vsexpress.info video. On this video, we're going to find UPC check digit from an 11 UPC A. To complete this task, we're going to need one generic UPC A and one VV function and one solution with one form. After we complete our code, we'll verify the check digit at www.uc-console.org. The results will be that you will save a lot of time and resources, especially when you have a list of UPCs without a check digit and your list could grow up to 10,000 or more. As you can see, I have done already a simple application with one form and one class. But let's see the code in action. Here's the Windows form and we have a text box with one generic UPC and as you can see the UPC length is 11 digits. Now if you go to wwc-console.org you can find a check digit if you just copy it and paste it. Please note this is a GTIN-12. Once you calculate it will tell you the check digit which is 9. Now if you have a few this will work out fine but if you have a huge list this will be a lot of waste of time. So here we got a button get full UPC. We click it and as you can see the results are the same. The check digit is 9. Check digit this matches with uh, the website check digit results. Now how does the uh, VB function works? Let's see it step by step. Now back in the code the, dub, the double click event this is what happens. We basically are creating a new instance of this class named find check digit dot upc t6 and as you can see all we have to do on our label text is do check digit we got two labels one will tell us the full uh, UPC and one will just give us the last digit which is the UPC uh, check digit so all we have to do is pass our UPC 11 digit as you can see we just pass in here what's on the text box and on the second statement all we're doing is the same thing but in this case we only want the last digit or integer we're just telling we want the last uh, digit from the right that's, th that's all we're doing and then that's how we're getting the results onto these uh, two labels now the function comes from this basic class and all it's doing as you can see is taking one parameter or one argument that's the UPC 11 digit and the first part is doing is just grabbing the first digit and it's using the left uh, function here from Visual Basic and it's doing the same thing on the second one so we're just taking different values from different placements on the UPC after that since it's coming from a text box we're converting uh, the value into a single so we can do this other part as you can see we can add after we have converted now after we add all those together we multiply by 3 so the total of this we multiply by 3 which we have here now the results goes into this bucket add final result and then we do the same thing with the even number or the even position 
for the UPC. Same process. We add them together. And almost to the end, we add both the odd total and the even total. Now, this is very important. Now, we use this function called ceiling. We're passing the total from the odds and the evens, and we're telling it to uh, round it up. Okay? Finally, we Finally, we dim another uh, variable to hold the ceiling value minus the final uh, results from the odds and the evens. And at the end, all we do is combine both. Uh, we return R, which is the U, and which is the parameter pass, plus the check digit. And we return it back to the form. Now, here's the ceiling function. And if you want more information about this function, you could also find it uh, using Excel. But let me show you where you can find more information about that uh, function. And before I forget the how to calculate the check digit, it's on, it's on this same page at the bottom. You go down it will tell you step by step how to calculate the UPC check digit or that GTIN-12 there's step 1 step 2 that we added and step 3 that we multiply it by 3 and then the same thing add it again and then add both together and then you get the check digit results now, if you want more about the ceiling function, you got to go to this Microsoft Office Excel to learn more about this function from Microsoft Excel. Thank you for watching VS Express.info, how to find check digit from an 11 UPC code.